Here's the glide scope. So first I want to show you just how unbelievably curved this is. This is much more curved than say if I opened up to you and I showed you a Miller blade. This is a Miller blade, so obviously this is perfectly straight for a Miller blade. And if I showed you a Mac blade, the Mac blade is indeed curved, but it's nowhere near as curved as that glide scope. If I showed you the Miller blade, Mac blade, I'm sorry, the Mac blade, that's curved. So you can see this, how much more curved this is. Now, why is that important? That's important because this was made here, say the, the Mac or the Miller, that I go in and I can see with my eyes the plane of the, uh, uh, of the opening of the glottis to put the endotracheal tube in. With this, you're not meant to see it with your eyes. You're meant to see it with the camera. And I'm mentioning that because when you get in, you might see a great view on the screen, but that great view is by the camera. It's not what you can see coming in through here. And so you might get fooled between how much distance you have to travel with the endotracheal tube to get there. So it's something to keep in mind. So now we're gonna start here with the glide, as I mentioned, and there are different ways to use each of these. Um, I'm gonna show you the best way for each one. So here's our patient right here that now we're gonna intubate. We've done our bag masking here. The patient is pre-oxygenated and they have a nasal cannula on supplying them supplemental O2. That prevents further decrease in their desaturation. So you have more time to intubate. So here with the glide scope, the technique is, and come around this way over here and get a little closer. Um, the technique with the glide scope is gonna be that I'm gonna go straight back midline. So right in the middle of his mouth, straight back, I come in and I'm midline. And now I'm gonna look at the screen over here. So straight back midline. And as I'm going midline, I'm continuing the push down, 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 going in. It's a model, so there's some looseness. I come right into the vollecula, and then this is good. You can see that you can barely start seeing some of the glottic opening. Now, in all intubation techniques, you always are taught to pull up in this direction. It's like a 45 degree direction towards the ceiling. And now you'll see why that when I lift up in that direction, that's, when I, that's what I see. I don't rock this back, because if I rock it back, I damage the teeth. I literally just lift the whole thing up in this direction and here I am. So now when I see this opening, I take the ET tube and I come in here on the corner of the mouth and then I come right in to the opening. Now one thing I want you to notice again is that since the camera and the glide scope is so curved, this, you have to use the stylet that comes with the, uh, with the glide scope. You're not meant to use the regular stylet, the, uh, the, the flexible one. You have to use the rigid one because the rigid one is more curved and when you get in there you can manipulate it more to go up and under and to get where you have to go and you need that rigidness uh, uh, of this uh, of this stylet so this is the one you use and notice again how it's curved very well up this way when i come in i could hit the anterior part of the trachea and i might not be able to progress any further because i'm hitting it right there and you'll see me use a technique here where I'm gonna pull this back a little bit once I'm in. I'm gonna flex the tip, I'll make the tip a little flexible and then push this off in this direction. I'll show you how this looks here. So here I am, again, I pull up in this direction towards the ceiling. I come in the side of the mouth. I come down, I'm in, I'm hitting that first part of the trachea up top, right? So now what I do is I ask someone can you please lift this back up a little bit? They lift it back here. The tip now becomes more flexible because my uh, stylet's not at, the, not at the end. And then I could advance it in like that. So then the next technique is, is remember how curved this stylet was. When I take the stylet out, I bring it out in this direction towards the chest and it comes out nice. If you see some people, what they try to do is bring it out up here like this, and what you're doing is you're pulling against that rigid curve like that, and it's awkward to come out, and they can't get it, and it feels hard. So again, when you come out, you come out in this direction. And that's it. Blow up the cuff, check in tidal CO2, bilateral breath sounds, that's the glide scope. Thank you.